Hello everyone! Are you wondering which hero to choose at the beginning of the game Raid Shadow Legends? Because there are as many as four of them, and you do not want to make a mistake, right? In this video, we look at one champion, Kale, what skills he has, where he will be useful, what to equip him with, and whether he should be taken as the first champion in Raid Shadow Legends. Here we go! Kale is a good attacker that will fight great in both PvP and PvE, but if you're just starting out, it would be cool to add two more epic heroes to him to make it easier for Kale to survive in battles. There is a bonus link in the description that gives the epic champion to new accounts. Using the link, you receive a defense champion, Lightsworn, and 100,000 silver for free. This is a great hero with a high defense parameter that could cause a lot of damage and resurrect allies. For pumping your account with this champion to level 25, you will get a second attack champion, Lady Quillen, and a set of resources for faster account development. After sign up, when you complete the tutorial, enter the promo code dashbeal 23 chinaru It gives another epic champion, Chinaru. Also, after seven days of active login, you can get an epic support champion, Shaman, on your account. And with this champion, you will receive a lifesteal set. Hurry up, this is an offer which doesn't last long. As a result, in addition to Kale at the start, you also get Tank, Lightsworn, an Attacker Chinaru, and Champion Shaman for 7 days with a set of artifacts. In addition, there will be Champion Lady Quillen for those who reach a level 25 account, and as much as 500,000 silver for level up. This is a very impressive bonus for new accounts, which I recommend to everyone. So let's look at the hero of today's video. Kale in Raid is a rare champion, which can appear in blue or purple shards, or you can get him after training. You can't get him anymore if you didn't choose him at the start. As for the user ratings, he has the highest scores in the Chapters of the Campaign, the Minotaur's Labyrinth, the Dragon's Lair, the Clan Boss Dungeon, and even in the arena when he attacks. The user ratings do not lie. The hero is GOAT. There are no ratings below 4 points. It turns out there are no weak modes. The best mode where Kale can reveal himself is the Demon Lord. He will do tremendous damage with his poisons and inflict tremendous damage. That's his nature. Kale is the champion of the spirit element, which means that it has an advantage over opponents with the magic element, but is weaker than the heroes of the force element. Before you launch into combat, while choosing heroes, look at the elements that the enemy possesses. Let's look at the skills now. The first attack, Dark Bolt, attacks the enemy with a probability of 80% imposes a 2.5% poison penalty for two moves. The damage depends on the attack parameter. The second attack is Acid Rain. It's an attack on all enemies with an increased chance of a critical hit by 15% and fills its move scale by 25% for each enemy killed. The third skill, Disintegrate, attacks four random targets with a 40% probability, imposes 5% poison for two moves. An extremely useful skill for mass destruction of the enemy. Well, there is also an aura that increases the health of allies in all battles by 15%. What artifacts should Kale be equipped with? This is an attack hero that only needs to have his attack and speed strengthened. A better solution is to put 6 items on the attacking skill. Or, if you want the champion to go first in the round, you could put 4 items of the set on the attack and 2 items on the speed. However, this is optional. During the walkthrough of the first chapter, you will have a set for attack and then after the campaign, in the Palace of Arabia, you get two items for speed. Gloves are needed with an additional parameter critical chance. Boots must be worn with the main parameter speed. As for the characteristics, an attack is the main parameter for this champion. For the second characteristic, we level up the speed and critical chance to get more damage. And then, there's the accuracy for poisons. Follow these recommendations smoothly, until the end of level up. As for the talents, for 800 rubies, you can fully level up all talents. Here is the most working build that could be used in the campaign, arena, and faction wars. Basically, the attack and support branch is being leveled up. Kale just doesn't need protection. The second build of talents is strictly for the clan boss. In this build, Kale's poisons will simply disintegrate the chubby demon. So if you're going to pack Kale strictly for this mode, then do the same talent build. As a blessing, we use Phantom Touch fits in any mode. You need to upgrade Kale's skills, but only with rare skill books. You should spare epic and legendary ones on the level up, otherwise you will not have anything to level up the first epic or legendary champion with. By whom to replace Kale if you choose him at the beginning? Well, if you search hard, you can find a couple of heroes worthy to replace Kale. War Maiden will be a good substitute. 
The second poisoner for backup is frozen. The second imposes an attack bonus of 50%, and the third attack hits everyone and gives a protection penalty. She is rolled out in Chapter 9. The second poisoner for backup is Frozen Banshee. You can get him from the shards. The first skill imposes a poison debuff. The second one hits the enemy and speeds up allies. And the third attack imposes a poison sensitivity debuff. There are no more champions for substitute. I've named the simplest heroes that could be easily obtained. Kale is the best damager for the start, whom you can get for free. His skills will deal damage and apply poisons without letting the enemy recover. Equip him with a damage set, level him up, and hone the gear. He is useful in almost all modes, and the user ratings confirm this. And in a group with epic champions that I talked about at the beginning, Kale will survive longer and deal more damage. The specifics of Lightsworn is protection, and with a highly upgraded parameter of protection and health, he attracts enemies to himself. Shinaru will deal additional damage. Lady Quillen speeds up allies and allows you to make more moves in battle. Shaman will resurrect allies and deal good damage. She also gives critical hit buffs to all allies. And such a pack of champs, if everyone pumps the level, it will allow you to quickly level up and pass through many difficult activities. Don't forget to get the hero in Raid Shadow Legends. The link with the bonus will always be in the description. Follow and add the coolest epics to your collection. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like. I've also picked two interesting videos for you that I recommend watching. See you soon.